I think food is such a great subject. It's such an interesting subject. I mean, food is something that everyone has to do. It's a life necessity. And actually, because of that, it can be a real hassle. Like, when you have to eat when you're hungry, but you really can't be bothered to make anything. You can't go and buy anything. You don't have the money to go and buy anything. It's the worst thing. Um, but when you're not in that situation, food is great. Um, I'm just sort of thinking over all the different types of food I've eaten throughout my life and uh, the sort of real spread range of food throughout different countries. I mean, I come from England where I wouldn't say England really had a very specific cuisine of its own. I think, you know, very nice English restaurant food is probably more like French restaurant food. Um, the only sort of staple things that everyone knows come from England are obviously fish and chips which actually normal English people don't eat that much of I probably eat fish and chips three times a year maybe if I lived a bit further north I'd eat it once a week but um, that is known as a sort of number one English dish um, although that's that's really junk food and um, I think a good roast with uh, gravy, Yorkshire puddings, uh, baked potatoes. I see that as proper English food. But um, just thinking now living in Japan, the difference between the food in England and the food in Japan. And then I've been brought up very much on uh, like Chinese food as well. My mum always cooked a lot of Chinese food. And in England, of course, the number, number one favourite food is um, Indian curry. And all these different foods are so, so different from each other. Um, just flavours, what you use. I mean, the cooking here, it's, it's, it's really depressing when it gets to about 7 o'clock in the evening here because I go down in the guest house I'm living in and I walk into the kitchen area and just the whole area smells amazing from where all the Japanese residents are cooking their normal Japanese meals, which are totally normal to them, but to a foreigner... They seem like these amazingly, amazingly elaborate meals where I'm sure like roast beef and Yorkshire pudding would seem the same to a Japanese person. Um, but it's a pity really that sort of countries aren't more uh, sort of aware of sharing their foods with each other. I mean, when I get back to England, I'm going to be in a whole load of trouble because all the food I eat here, all the ingredients that I need you can only get in Japan their specific Japanese vegetables or in Asia at least um, and I'm going to have to go to very specific supermarkets to get even half the stuff I want and all the things like the nice vegetables I won't even be able to buy